Shalom, call Halal, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth of Ruel. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwath, to all you brothers and sisters, Adawan Ratazah. That is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother, Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. This is, uh, this is uh, an in transit. Um, I got a scripture I'm going to read before I uh, pull off. And... Um, this is all through the spirit, but um, whatever comes to mind to the spirit and probably I'll, Bashim, I'll, shy, I'll bring it out. But I'm going to start with the scripture before I pull off. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. And as you look around, okay. If you got eyes to see, and if you're paying attention, okay, <laughs> you would know for sure, of a surety, that these are the last days, man. All right? Because the prophecies are going forward, man. The scriptures say, none shall fail, meaning the prophecies. Okay? Isaiah 34 and 16. Okay? The Lord have spoken. Okay, and have the and have these things to be written on paper. His words are faithful and true, man. We see it all coming together, man, and that's what's building our faith. You know, in the last days, perilous times shall come, man. Okay, when you go into that word perilous, it means dangerous, savage, hard to take, hard to do. Okay, hard times, man. All right, the scriptures say, by way of tribulation is how. Okay. I don't want to write this out of that precious number of the elect. That's how you're going to enter into the kingdom, man. Okay? It's going, it's going, you're going to, the scriptures say the righteous are going to scarcely be saved, man, from all of these calamities that's going to come upon the earth, man. Okay? The scriptures tell you how mankind hard failing them for the things that is coming on the earth. You see? And we have seen it, man. Okay? We've seen that what, what's being prepared, man. Okay? All of this uh, uh, currency talk, going from fiat currency, okay, to digital, okay, they're warming you up, man, for the MOTV, okay, Revelation chapter 13 and 16 on down, man. We've seen that coming together, that's been, that's been uh, uh, formulated, man, okay, and if you don't got eyes to see it, man, definitely you, you blinded, man, the Lord have blinded you, man, to this knowledge, man. You know, this is not for everybody. Okay, only the, only those that the Lord open up their eyes to see. Okay, that's why the Lord said, "Blessed are your eyes, for they see." You see, and that's why we say every every opportunity I get, you know, the brothers they say, "Tawadi Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai." You know, uh, second, uh, it's like your first Peter chapter two and verse nine. You know, thanking the Lord for taking us out of darkness and bringing us into His marvelous light. And this why this is why we want to show forth the praises man to him by going on making our bodies a living sacrifice man unto the Lord because we know the tribulation that's going to come man there is such a thing called Jacob's trouble Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7 which speaks of a time of never before slavery okay all the things that you could think of World War 1 World War 2 okay it's going to be a time like never before man okay and you could expect World War Three because that's prophesied. You see, none shall fail. Remember the scripture said, "None shall fail." Man, going into these prophecies, man, none shall fail. Okay, the scriptures tell you Matthew chapter uh, twenty-four and verse twelve how because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. You see, when you go into that word cold, it means psycho. We live in a some times where the people are psycho, man. A lot of these people are psyched up on uh, uh, on drugs. Okay. You have a lot of shootings everywhere you turn. I turned on the TV this morning. I've been, I've been hearing about shootings 
on the TV last night, this morning when I turned on the the TV. Man, everywhere you look, everywhere you turn, man. Okay? You got people dropping uh, 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 like flies, okay? Because they shoot that shot, man. All right? Everywhere you look, man. Wars and rumors of wars, as the Lord told us. Okay? All right? The Lord said before he returns, man, this is what's going to be going on. You're going to hear of wars and rumors of wars, man. You see? Pestilences. Okay? And we see in these things, man. I don't got to tell you, but the, 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 the Royal Crown 19. Right? <laughs> and definitely you're going to see more. Because why? It's prophesied, man. You see? Earthquakes in diverse places. We've been seeing that, man. You see? But the end is not yet. As the scriptures say. Okay? Nations... Nations right now being perplexed, man. You see? I want to get some of them scriptures, but I'm driving. So I have to quote them to the best of my ability, man. But yeah, man. These are the last days and perilous times, man. The scripture tell you, um, Acts chapter 14 and verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciple and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we, through much tribulation, shall enter into the shall enter, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. It's going to be by way of tribulation. You're going to have to go through it to get to it, man. You, you're going to have to be hardened, man, as the scriptures say, to, 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 uh, 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 to be a good soldier, roughly paraphrasing of, of Yahweh Shai, man. Therefore, endure hardness. As a good soldier of Yahweh Shai, man, you have, you have to endure hardness until the end, man. And this is the reason why you got to be rooted in the scriptures, man. You see? And this is the reason why, you know, you, you get tried here and there, you get tested uh, here and there. You know, that, that builds you up, man, at the end of the day. It builds your faith. The fact that you're seeing these prophecies going forward, you're seeing what the Lord has been telling you about, okay? It's showing you that, you know, you, 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 you don't... You, 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 you must walk the righteous way, man, because you, you see these things happen just as the Lord spoke of. Once again, his words are faithful and true, man. You see? So these definitely are the last days, and we've seen all the things that's happening in the earth, man. Everywhere you look, everywhere you turn is a new story about something, man. Okay? Something, man. So, hey, man, we got to continue to watch as well as pray, man. Okay? All right? Uh... Luke 21 and uh, what is it, 36, I think it tells you it all it tells you to watch and pray, man. One shot, watch unto prayer, man. We gotta be watching, man. All right. Uh, what is it, First Peter 4 and 7. All right. It lets you know, man, for the kingdom is at hand, man. So we must watch. The Lord said to watch. We gotta keep watch. And what we're seeing in the news, okay, what we're seeing in the street, or wherever you get your you your, your, your source of news from you must filter those things through the scripture okay and see what lines up with prophecy man and then you will know because you have to know how to measure the time when you read second answers the ninth chapter it tell you you know uh, uh that you must measure the time man when you see some of the signs pass okay when you see some of the signs pass you know just know that it's the very same time where the, the, the highest will begin to visit the world man Okay, roughly paraphrasing, man. Measure the time diligently within itself. You see? When you see some of these things come to pass, that's how you're going to know where you are in prophecy. Okay? So we, we got to watch and, and continue to measure this thing, man. Till, until the return of our Lord. I don't want to say the Lord keep the spirit on me, okay, and brothers. Okay, like-minded brothers who seek in the Lord and seeking his return return love lo that love is apparent okay because it's going to get crazy out here man okay these nations going away uh uh trying to find a way to circumvent the dollar okay they, they're trying to come with their own currency these BRICS nations okay once they if they if they establish that if they get that done man it's going to be crazy inflation man okay crazy high inflation man your bread would usually cost like about three dollars and some change all right, that could skyrocket to <laughs> almost a hundred bucks. Okay, once you get to the point where enough nations stop using the dollar, 
and that's what they're planning on doing. So, <laughs> clearly you can see, that's why this thing is going digital real fast. They're talking about the Fed now. Okay, that's supposed to be launching in July, I believe. All right, you're seeing these major changes coming from out of nowhere, like real fast. Okay, so, hey man, the Lord said, I see, I saw, uh, uh, Satan fall like lightning, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, things are happening real fast, man. And the Lord said, You're gonna shorten, shorten the days, man, shorten the time. The scripture said to pray for a few days, man. Okay, pray for a few days. So we praying that the Lord shorten the days so we can get up out of here, man. I don't want to, I don't want to represent with those men because it's gonna get crazy, man. All right, perilous times, man, definitely on the way. You gotta be even as a pilgrim, as the, as the scripture say, man. Second Ezra chapter sixteen and verse forty. You see, you gotta get ready to be even as a pilgrim, man. You see, this is this is what it is, man. This is where it's going. Okay, Lord willing, the Lord keep the spirit on me, man. You know, and like minded brothers, because <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, we know the Lord preserve a remnant, man. The Lord say you have sent seven thousand men. Okay, seven represents the number of completion. All right, 7,000 men that have not bowed to the image of Baal, man. Okay, we pray the Lord keep the spirit on us to not bow to the system, man. Okay, we, we, we want to stay upon the Lord, man. Okay. Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 20. Okay. We don't want to stay upon him that's smartest, man. We want to stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, man. You see? So, yeah, man. Perilous times are ahead. We're definitely, in, definitely in the last days. Okay, what manner of person ought you to be? The scriptures say, in all holy conversation, man. Uh, Second Peter, chapter three. Okay, but it tells you that knowing that the earth, okay, knowing that the elements shall melt with fervent heat, man. What manner of person ought you to be? In all holy conversation and godliness, you should be speaking of the scriptures, man. Speaking of the prophecies, man. Okay, being, 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 uh, uh being holy, being set apart. Okay. Uh, uh, being around like-minded brothers, being charitable, showing that love one to another, you know. This is where your mind should, your mindset should be at, man. Uh, praying and, and casting your burden upon the Lord, you see, and staying in prayer, asking the Lord to guide you. You're going out and coming in and, and to keep you from the evils, man, and do what you have to do to walk in the righteous way, man. You know, ask the Lord to bless your steps. Okay, so um, prayerless times are definitely on the way, man. It's you know, <laughs> you got to pray to continue to walk the righteous way, man. Pray that the Lord guides you, man, and carry you when you can't carry yourself. All right? So I'm going to end it there, Lord willing. Lord willing, you are edified. On to the next one. Shalom.